liquidity, the lifeblood of financial markets and its role in investing. Investing is a multifaceted process involving several key concepts that play vital roles in determining the success or failure of an investment strategy. One of the most fundamental yet often overlooked aspects of investing is liquidity. This crucial concept is central to understanding and assessing investments, affecting both the investment decision-making process and the performance of an investment portfolio. Understanding Liquidity In finance, liquidity refers to the ease with which an asset or security can be bought or sold without affecting its price. The higher the liquidity, the easier it is to execute transactions at or near the current market price. Liquidity is often associated with the volume of buyers and sellers available in the market. Markets like the New York Stock Exchange, which have a high volume of trades daily, are considered highly liquid. A highly liquid market is essential for several reasons. First, it allows investors to enter or exit positions quickly, thus enabling timely response to changing market conditions. Second, high liquidity levels ensure price stability, reducing the likelihood of sharp price fluctuations. Lastly, it allows for more accurate pricing of securities since the high volume of trades reflects the collective market sentiment and information. However, it's crucial to remember that liquidity can vary significantly across different assets, securities, and markets. Let's consider two examples. Company A, whose shares are listed on a major stock exchange, and Company B, a smaller firm whose shares are traded over the counter, OTC. Company A's shares are highly liquid. Due to a large number of shareholders and consistent trading volume, investors can buy or sell these shares quickly without causing significant price changes. If an investor decides to sell a large number of Company A's shares, the market is likely to absorb this without causing drastic price fluctuations. On the other hand, Company B's shares are illiquid. There are fewer buyers and sellers, and trades occur less frequently. If an investor wants to sell a significant number of shares in Company B, they may struggle to find enough buyers. This could force the investor to sell at a lower price, leading to potential losses. The decreased liquidity can increase the bid-ask spread, the difference between the highest price a buyer is willing to pay and the lowest price a seller is willing to accept, further complicating transactions. Liquidity Risk Liquidity risk is the risk stemming from the lack of marketability of an investment that cannot be bought or sold quickly enough to prevent or minimize a loss. For instance, during the 2008 financial crisis, certain mortgage-backed securities became very illiquid. As the market for these assets dried up, holders of these securities could not sell them without accepting significant losses. This liquidity risk can also extend to whole markets in what is known as systemic liquidity risk, causing a liquidity crunch. The Impact of Liquidity on Investing Understanding liquidity is crucial for formulating effective investment strategies. For short-term traders like day traders or swing traders, liquidity is paramount since they need to enter and exit positions quickly. A liquid market facilitates this rapid trading, reducing transaction costs and slippage, the difference between the expected price of a trade and the price at which the trade is executed. Long-term investors, while less affected by liquidity on a daily basis, still need to consider it, especially during market downturns when liquidity can dry up. When assessing investment in mutual funds, ETFs, or bonds, understanding the underlying asset's liquidity is crucial as illiquid assets can lead to difficulty in valuing the fund or ETF and potential losses. Moreover, illiquid investments often demand a liquidity premium. Investors require higher returns for investing in these assets to compensate for the added risk of potential difficulty in converting these assets into cash. Liquidity plays a crucial role in investing and should be one of the key factors considered when devising an investment strategy. A liquid investment is generally associated with less risk as it ensures the ability to buy or sell assets at or near the market price swiftly. However, illiquid investments can sometimes provide greater returns to compensate for the additional risks involved, including the inability to quickly convert the investment into cash. 
For individual investors, a healthy mix of liquid and illiquid assets is often recommended to balance the potential for higher returns and the need for cash in case of emergencies or opportunities. For instance, liquid assets like stocks and bonds can be easily sold if cash is needed, whereas investments in real estate or private equity can potentially offer higher returns due to their illiquidity premium. Institutional investors and fund managers often have to pay particular attention to liquidity management to meet their obligations. Mutual funds and hedge funds, for example, need to ensure sufficient liquidity to facilitate withdrawals without disturbing the portfolio's overall performance. Understanding market liquidity also involves considering market dynamics and economic factors that could influence liquidity levels. For example, during periods of financial uncertainty or market stress, liquidity can dry up, leading to heightened volatility and potential losses. Investors, thus, need to continually monitor liquidity conditions and adjust their investment strategies accordingly. Analyzing liquidity involves a combination of quantitative measurements and qualitative assessments. Here are some practical ways to keep track of liquidity. Trading volume. Trading volume is the number of shares or contracts traded in a security or an entire market during a given period. High trading volumes typically correspond to high liquidity since more transactions imply there are many buyers and sellers. This can be easily monitored through financial news sites, investment platforms, or directly on exchanges. Bid Ask Spread The bid ask spread is the difference between the highest price a buyer is willing to pay for an asset, the bid, and the lowest price a seller is willing to accept, the ask. A narrow bid ask spread usually indicates high liquidity, while a wider spread can be a sign of low liquidity. This information can be found on trading platforms or financial news sites. Time to execute trades. If orders are getting filled quickly at expected prices, it's a good sign of high liquidity. Conversely, if trades are slow to execute or are getting filled at prices significantly different from when orders were placed, it can indicate lower liquidity. Price impact of trades. If large orders significantly move prices, it's a sign of lower liquidity. This is because in a highly liquid market, there are enough orders at each price level to absorb large trades without substantial price changes. Open interest. In the context of futures and options markets, open interest refers to the total number of outstanding contracts that have not been settled. A higher open interest indicates more activity and thus higher liquidity. Use financial ratios. In the broader sense of companies' financial health, liquidity ratios like the current ratio, current assets divided by current liabilities, quick ratio, cash plus marketable securities plus receivables divided by current liabilities, and cash ratio, cash and marketable securities divided by current liabilities, can be used to gauge a company's ability to cover its short-term obligations, providing a sense of its financial stability. Market news and economic factors. News events can affect liquidity conditions. Economic releases, policy changes, or other significant news can lead to higher volatility and impact liquidity. It's important to stay updated with relevant news and understand how these might affect market conditions. Remember, while you can monitor these factors to assess liquidity, it's equally important to understand that liquidity can change rapidly particularly in times of market stress. Always consider liquidity in the context of your investing or trading strategy, risk tolerance, and overall market conditions. An interesting fact about liquidity in the context of investing is the existence of the so-called liquidity premium. This is an extra return that investors demand for investing in securities with low liquidity or high liquidity risk. It's based on the principle that all else being equal, investors prefer more liquid investments because they offer greater flexibility. Therefore, less liquid securities must offer a higher potential return to compensate for their lack of liquidity. This is a key concept in financial markets and forms part of the risk-return trade-off. In other words, in finance, higher risk, in this case, liquidity risk, can lead to higher potential returns.